Hey guys, welcome to this video. Here I'm going to take you through the report builder, which is a little bit more interesting than the standard reports, I think, uh, because we have so much more flexibility around what we can do with the data in the system. So let's jump in and we'll check it out together. All right, so we're going to go to reports and then down to report builder. And then you can see uh, at the moment these are all the favorite reports that I've set up. So I know I've already sort of touched on this uh, in previous videos, but I'm going to take you through again how we use this. So go to the report builder. And then from there you can choose your report type. So uh, each of these reports uh, pull different information. So for example, the job report, very, very common one I use. This pulls job information. So everything to do with the job. So it could be the client, it could be the budget for the job, it could be what was quoted, what was invoiced, what's billable, all that information. Uh, whereas if we look at another one I quite like, the time report, rather than looking at jobs, it's now looking at time. So how much time was put on each job. So it won't bring up what we quoted for this job because that's got nothing to do with the time. It's all very timesheet based. So what task was worked on, which staff member worked on that, what was their billable rate. Very, very time based reports. Another good one is the WIP ledger. So WIP ledger brings up everything within the system. So uh, so within a job we can look at everything with that job. So uh, what costs, tasks uh, were put on, also what time was put on it. Uh, also, um, you know, what purchase orders were there, what invoices were raised. So uh, very, very powerful one, that WIP ledger. And then invoice report, looking at invoices. So they're all, each, each of these um, report types are pulling information about that heading there. So uh, let's just run a, uh, a job report. And then we go create, just to give you an idea how this works. So you want to give it a title first. Let's just call this one uh, test report. And let's say that we want to look at uh, the job, so job summary is good. So the job summary is the job number and the job name on the same field. So we want to know the job summary, we want to know what's billable for it. And we want to know uh, what the actual cost on the job was. And then we want to know what was invoiced, let's say. Uh, there we go, invoiced. Cool, billable, actual cost, invoice. And we can even bring through profit if we want. Here we go, where is the profit? Job profit. So as you can see, it's uh, quite flexible. You can bring some pretty cool information through. Now this next thing is, actually I'm gonna put one more field in here is I'm gonna make it the client. Let's put the client in here. So you can see you got client info here as well. Client. So I'm gonna put the client at the top. Cool. Criteria, so now what we can do is we can go and filter this, because at the moment that's bringing up every job ever uh, with all the information on them. But we might go, look, we don't want to look at every job ever because we've got completed jobs, we've got cancelled jobs, we don't want to look at them. So I like filtering by state. So let's go job state includes, or we can go excludes. Uh, we don't want to show any cancelled jobs. We don't want to show any on hold ones. We're not interested in internal jobs, so we can get rid of that. Uh, and then anything that's been completed or archived or um, anything like that. So now it's only to look at our active jobs in the system. So then this is the next thing here is um, the, who can view the report. So you can choose from the list which staff members will have access to this report. Uh, so remember they will only be given access if they have the access uh, granted to them in their user permissions as well. So if we can, we can put them in the list here, but if they can't access that part of the system based on their permissions, they won't be able to access that report. Now this is uh, one of the most important fields here is rows are not grouped. So that's just gonna give me a big list of data, I'll show you. If I hit preview report, that's just a big list. But now what I can do, if I go back, I can say they are grouped and subtotaled by the first field. So this first field here is client. So it's gonna create uh, little summaries by client now. So I'm just gonna go save and preview because I wanna hold on to this report. You can see now that AC Corporation has gone and grouped it by those jobs there. So billable, actual cost, invoiced, and our profit. And then action group. There we go. So we've got uh, yeah, not a lot of profit on that job. Not a profit on that one. So yeah, you can just basically run down there and you can see it's grouped it. And you can see our total profit is negative 3,000. So we actually haven't made a lot of money on these jobs. But then again, that could be because we've got a lot of time sitting on the job that we haven't invoiced yet. So profit is going to be uh, what you've invoiced less what it cost you. So we've probably got a bit of invoicing to do. As you can see here, our billable is 21,000 and our actual cost is 9,000 and we've only invoiced 5,000. So once we've invoiced everything, we'll be setting a profit around, I don't know, just under uh, about 15 grand or so, 15, 16 grand will be our profit once we've invoiced everything. So 
That's the report builder, go and have a play around. It's, it's a very, very powerful feature of Workflow Max and it's good to sort of get uh, quite um, up to speed on it. So uh, yeah, that's how it works and I hope you enjoy building some reports. And we will, and next video, I'm gonna take you through the work in progress report. So I'll see you in that video.